Hey there, it's Wednesday afternoon, November 12th, 2008. I'm Jilly Bedanes, and this is the afternoon briefing and update on what we're following here on WashingtonTimes.com. Treasury Secretary Henry Paulson said today the government bailouts have been successful in preventing a crisis. But, he said, the government will not purchase troubled assets as originally planned, but instead will seek new ways to supply consumer credit. The Obama transition team is fighting rumors today that former Senate Armed Services Committee Chairman Sam Nunn would play a key role in reworking the Pentagon for the next administration. An Obama spokeswoman said the former Georgia senator will be an informal senior advisor to the transition team, but will not be leading the efforts as rumored. Barack Obama will be calling on both Republicans and Democrats in his transition, and today he announced he will be sending one of each to represent him in the upcoming economic summit. Former Clinton Secretary of State Madeleine Albright and former Republican Congressman Jim Leach will attend the summit to meet with and be available to other participants, said Obama's senior foreign policy advisor. North Korea today threatened to close its border to South Korea as soon as December 1st after accusing South Korea of not honoring agreements. South Korea's acceptance last week of a U.N. resolution condemning North Korean human rights abuses and rumors that North Korean leader Kim Jong-il suffered a stroke may have led to this latest action. And that's the news for now. Thanks for watching. Stay logged on to WashingtonTimes.com. And of course, I'll be back tomorrow for the morning briefing.